also um, come into a jam session that way too. And you can go jam board to jam board. So up to 50 devices connected into any one session. Um, within those sessions, you can have up to 20 slides. So what you see here are the different slides. And you can have up to 20 of those within any one jam session. The idea is it's supposed to be as intuitive as a whiteboard would be. So you just walk up to it, grab a pen, and you can start working. The first four tools here are annotation tools. So they just give you, they're pens that give you a different kind of look and feel. So we've got a standard pen here. Uh, you've got a Sharpie. Uh, you've also got a highlighter and then a paintbrush. Uh, you can also layer these up. So as you see here, you can layer them up and start to build um, on the color side of things. The bottom three tools here use Google's machine learning. So we have things like handwriting recognition. So as you start to write something on the board, Google will use machine learning. Can everybody see it in the back there? Or would it be preferable if we put it up on stage? No, you're, yeah, everybody's OK. Yeah. You, can, you can see it on the board. Yeah. So you'll see there, it uses the machine learning just to um, turn your writing into text. Um, when that becomes a text object, you can move it around with two fingers on the screen. And you've also got a duplication tool there as well. We also have shape recognition. So if you do a lot of flow and process and you find yourself drawing boxes quite a lot, you can just draw your boxes. You can do things like duplicate them. You can also join them together, so creating a connector between the two you can then move around and push your content in. So you've got that there as well. Uh, the bottom tool here is AutoDraw. So um, this will basically change whatever it is you're drawing into, into a digital version. So as you see here, if I draw a circle, it's trying to recognize what I might be drawing. If I pop the circle in, pop a smiley face there, and I can turn that into an object with auto draw. So if communication is a bit of an issue, maybe there's a language barrier. We work with a lot of companies that deal with um, businesses that are offshore. Um, you can actually use these uh, sorts of auto draw tools to actually bring in images um, opposed to text. So these are all of your annotation tools, nice and simple. Um, if you want to delete or rub things out on the board, you've got clear board option here. Um, also, your finger does become the rubber or the eraser. Um, so you'll see I can grab a larger surface area by just putting two fingers on the screen, and that will actually rub the content out as well. Really oh, simple color palette. So you've got a simple color palette here, and you can change the color for all of your pen tools. Um, we also have a lasso tool. So you've got kind of limited real estate on the screen. So you've only got a 55 inch screen. Um, but you may want to start with a big idea. And uh, I will add you in, I promise, just later. Um, so there's limited real estate on the screen. What you can do is you can use the lasso tool to grab your content and move it to one side. So if you start with a big idea, you can move it to one side and kind of bring it back into the, the main screen at any point or later on in a session. Um, on my tablet here, you'll see that I've got exactly the same content that we have up here on the screen. Um, I also have the same tool set. So actually, if you're coming in from a tablet environment, it does give you a mini Jamboard. Um, so I can add content from here, and it appears on the screen in real time. Drive access is very much driven um, from your device. So although there's a drive icon here, you have to push content in from drive from your device. So it supports docs, sheets, slides, image files, and GIFs as well, if, uh, if you want to bring a GIF into your session. You've got the ability to browse the web. So we've got a simple web browser in here as well. So if I just Google, Google. You can drag this out to halfway, and then you can crop content from the web there as well. So there's a crop tool here in the bottom. You can bring in content from the web that you might be working on. that then comes in as well. You've got a series of emojis and some storyboarding here too. So you can get instant feedback with things like the emojis as to whether someone likes something, you know, whether they don't. 
post-it notes or sticky notes. Um, I go into many organizations where there are a lot of whiteboards and a lot of post-it notes or sticky notes. Um, again, this gives you that digitally. So if you're using um, third-party applications out there that are based around post-it notes, this is a nice way for you to be able to start those ideas so you can bring those in. Um, again, post-it notes can come in from your device as well and any device. So I can bring in post-it notes from here too. The camera on the board itself links to the camera in the top of the screen. This really is for your Meet video conferencing. So we've got it in a Meet session here. At the moment, I'm sharing my ideas, but I could actually switch the camera on and I could share my visual um, as well as kind of talk through my ideas. Where the camera becomes quite useful is if you're actually using it on the device. On the device, it actually links back to things like your camera roll and also allows you to take a photograph with your device too. So if you're actually looking at a physical object or you're working on a piece of material that you want to get straight into the session, you can take a quick snapshot of it and load that in. So that'll take a few minutes to load in, but that's coming directly from your camera roll as well. Um, as you can see, we've got it in the Meet call here. So in addition to having up to 50 devices connected, you can also pop it in a Meet call as well. So if you just want to, to share your idea and talk through it, um, and you don't want people to interact, you can also do it through the Meet call as well. Um, when you've finished, you just close the Jam. Once you've closed the Jam down, it's all stored in your drive and also within the Jamboard app, so you can come back to it at any point. Um, it does remain a live document, so at any point you can go back in and carry on working on it. Uh, you can also set restrictions when you're adding people into the session as to what they, can, uh, what they can view. So whether they come in as a view only or they actually come in as someone who can edit that session as well. So you can limit um, people's, uh, the way that people kind of view your session too. And uh, that's the Jamble.